Welcome back to the channel y'all. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing and today we have a sponsored video from Strepino. Strepino makes straps for all sorts of purposes and uses but today we're looking at the straps that attach the transom of your boat to your trailer to keep it from bouncing off as you drive down the highway. So Strepino contacted me. They asked me to uh, use these straps, install them, review them and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to install and get a first look at how these straps do. Uh, they do make two versions of these. One is a stainless steel version and the other is a carbon steel version. I picked up the stainless steel version mainly because it's a marine use. Uh, they do make a other version if, if that's what you would like. Uh, but these are particularly for boat use. And by the way, if at any point in time in this video you get interested and want to pick up a set of these, I'll have a link to their website down below. But for now, let's unbox this guy. I will tell you, it came very well packaged. There's no damage on this package whatsoever. Um, so this isn't even the, the actual box it was shipped in. Um, it was actually shipped in a bigger box. It had some pretty good padding, but this box is actually really nice. So let's go ahead and open her up. As you can tell, I hadn't even opened it, so I have no idea what's inside. This will be my first time looking as well. Uh, let's get her on open. Let's see, this is the STP RB204 product manual. So it gives us a little manual on how to use these. We will look at these here in a minute. Get ready to be strapped and steady. <laughs> Right here on the front of the box. <laughs> All right, I like that. I like, I like that they're pretty confident here. Now, I will say already, I'm pulling these uh, directly out here. Man, these things are beefy looking. Uh, they are definitely a lot larger than what I currently have. Uh, let's take kind of a quick look at them. First thing I notice is we got this clip here that uh, will not allow you know the hook to become detached from whatever you have it hooked to. Uh, we have a pull release. So this is going to act a lot like normal ratchet straps. Pull release, pull it all the way up, and now we can pull it out and it retracts. I really like this thing already. So it retracts pretty easily. Let's see. We're going to pull it down like this. It's still retracted, not all the way, but it's still retracted. Try it the other way. Uh, struggling a little bit. Let's see how far out it goes. That's a pretty good distance, so if you have like a, a taller boat or maybe some jet skis, this could work for you. That's about four feet, I think that's what they say. Four feet there is the, the length it'll go. Um, as far as the strap itself, Let's see. Let's... Oh wow, that's smooth. I like that. Okay, so far I like. Has a little hole for us to mount, or if you have a different system, you can uh, use. Let me open this one up. They also give you another set of buckles here that you can bolt on here if uh, that's what you would like something that you can completely remove every time you use it uh, we could we could bolt this on right here now mine are directly going to bolt on to my trailer so we're not going to have to use this so this will probably hang out on the box uh, and that bag there's supposed to oh yeah there's another bolt there so a second bolt in case uh, for the, the use that we need it for. And here's the other one. Oh, I forgot I gotta pull it all the way up. <laughs> kind of like this. So pretty excited to try this out. So I'm just gonna go ahead, jump in the back. Uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do to remove and then I'll show you what I do to install these and then we'll strip them down for the very first time. All right, so this process is going to be extremely simple. All we gotta do is take the old boat buckle off 
and install the new one. Uh, first thing we're going to do is release it. That way we're no longer having any tension in here. We're, I'm going to use a pair of vice grips, but you can use any decent pair of pliers to grab the head of this bolt here. And then I have a ratchet here uh, that's just going to be used to remove the old one. And you can see how easily it's going to fall down. And there we go. The old one is removed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to release the boat buckle here. Get plenty of access, so that makes it much easier than the uninstall here. I didn't have any access here. Uh, we're going to get access. We're going to go ahead and hang it up here. I'll let you guys look at that real quick. We're going to hang it right there. And then we're going to head back down here. I've got my bolt. We're going to thread through on this side, just like how the other one was. Washer goes on the back side with the nut. And I honestly didn't check the size. It's probably not the same size. Nope, it's bigger and beefier. Uh, three quarter. Yes. There's a three quarter. And then I'm just going to grab the edge of this with my pliers here and we're just going to tighten this guy on down a little bit. We're not looking for tight fit. We just kind of want to get it to where it doesn't move so much. Okay. So now it's still movable. So we want to make sure we can get this aligned. So I am going to loosen it just a little bit. Oops, need to grab the... So now we're loose. So you can see how we're loose here. Now what I'm going to do is tighten the strap down just a little bit. Just a little bit here. So probably... Now this strap is perfectly straight in the line here, perfectly straight. So now I'm going to finish tightening up this bolt. And that's all it needs. And we're going to do the other side and I will see you guys here in a minute. So we have them both installed now. Here's the left one, here's the right one, and they both come up here and attach to the jack plate, which is attached to the transom. So real quickly, I want to show you guys how to use these. They're not really all that hard to use. So right now I have it strapped down and really tight. You press the little handle in here that says release, press it down, and pull the entire handle assembly up, all the way up and it will pop and make the strap loose. Then you unhook the strap from wherever you're hooking from. In this case, it's my jack plate. Um, and if you want to lock this into place, you can press the release back down and go all the way back down and let it go. And this guy's not going anywhere. If you want to now pull it up and attach back to your jack plate, you have to go back to the full release position and hook it up there and then you're done. Uh, and then obviously if you want to strap her on down, you come on down, you press the release to make it come down and now you just want to move the whole handle assembly. And uh, you can get it really, really tight so this thing isn't going anywhere. So that was one of the easiest 
installs that I've ever done, a simple single bolt install uh, for each one of these. It was getting about time to upgrade those. One of the boat buckles did not want to retract very well and needed help quite often. So I'm kind of glad that this opportunity came up. I'm actually very pleased uh, with the clamping strength of these. It's actually more than what the boat buckles have. So I'm pretty pleased with this process and how well it went. Um, like I said, if you have those that need to detach for whatever reason, uh, they do give the, the pieces to make them detachable if you would like. Remember, if you're interested in Strapino and their products, uh, go to their website. I'll have it linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. But just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.